My name is Danielle Stevens and I am with Keller Williams Energy. I am on the ALC and I am a part of the growth committee. I really love the ability to make a significant impact in people's lives. When you think about the fact that people are coming to us as a realtor to make the biggest purchase, sometimes the biggest purchase of their life, the largest transactions that they have handled is usually in real estate. And to be able to navigate somebody through that process, it's absolutely amazing. Not only because they're gonna find a home or sell a home to their liking, but the fact that they are building their wealth in real estate and I'm such an advocate for financial growth and building wealth using real estate as a platform. That's the business side of it but personally it gives me the flexibility to, to be a mom that is present, a mom that is able to support my 15 year old son who is super active and I get to see all his moments. I, I don't get I don't have to miss moments because of work so real estate really allows me to mesh my personal life with my desire to have have an impact on the people around me. I think the first and foremost thing is to come from a place of contribution. When you come from a place of contribution, you are able to, you ask yourself the question, how could I best service somebody? How could I best provide them with an experience that they are absolutely going to love looking back on, even if things weren't perfect. So when you come from that place of contribution, you end up being a good listener. You're not just listening to the words that are spoken by the client, but you're really trying to understand where they're coming from. You are doing your best to put yourself in their shoes. And for myself, for my clients, I listen, I, I do my best to really understand what their fears are, what their concerns are, what their worries are, what their expectations are. And when I can do that and I can put myself in their position, I give them the service that I would want and then some. So I feel like doing that allows me to give them the best service that they'll ever get. In my first year, it was a matter of, okay, I just need to figure out how to sell houses. I gotta get clients. And it was a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It was like walking around with sticky notes. No real organization, no real structure. It was just wanting to service people, but not really knowing the best ways how to do that without exerting so much effort. For me, it was implementing systems in the back end of the business. Things that allowed me to give the same service over and over to all of my clients and just really staying focused not thinking that one thing is not working in a matter of a week and then switching over to something else and just kind of playing hopscotch with how I am running my business but really sticking to certain things and and figuring out what works for my business and then last year I hired an admin and so that has helped tremendously because I get to focus on the things that I actually enjoy and so when I'm focused on the things that I enjoy, you're going to get the smiley den. You're going to get the one that loves being around people and is not inundated with, oh my God, I have all this paperwork to do or all the things that I'm not really, you know, a fan of doing. So it's learning how to effectively delegate the things that I don't love doing, but I love the business on a whole, but there are parts of it that I don't need to do in order to be successful, but I delegate that out and someone else does an amazing job. And together we just have amazing results. Coming into real estate, I've always heard that it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. And when I interviewed at other real estate brokerages, I went in, I, I heard the, the pitches, and it felt like what I expected it to feel like in terms of that dog-eat-dog -dog world. But when I came to Keller Williams, when I walked down the hallway to the team lead's office, and on the door said, God first, family second, career third. And that spoke to me. That's really, really spoke to me in terms of the priorities that the company has been built on. And after talking to the team lead at the time, I felt it. It wasn't just words on a door. It was something that was being lived every day through the, at least this one individual that I met. And then when we were done our meeting and I walked down the hall, I was being welcomed. I hadn't even signed up yet, but I was being welcomed by other agents. And they were like, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. And I was like, wow, is this for real? Because this is totally the opposite of what I've been told to expect. And I was like, this is the place for me. So that's basically what, what happened and, and the opportunities to learn and the training that they told me they would provide and I was all about it.